the previous video we did substitution, uh, integrating by substitution. So I've got the same thing here. I've been given the substitution that I need to be to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to differentiate the substitution. So it's sine x here. It differentiates to give me cosine x. I make dx the subject of the equation and it becomes du divided by cosine x. Now I'm going to go through here and I'm going to substitute in, but I'm not going to use the limits. I'm going to substitute in what I've got. The two I'm going to bring out, the sine cubed x, I'm now going to make u to the power of 3. And dx is going to be replaced with this thing here, which is du cosine x. And I'll tell you what I've forgotten at the beginning there. I also had a cosine x, which is going to cancel out. So I'm actually left with 2u cubed and a du. And I haven't got any limits, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to now do 2u to the power of 4 divided by 4, and that's what happens when I integrate, and then that's going to be a half, and u to the power of 4. Now I'm going to put this back in, my u is sine x to the power of 4, and I'm going to use the limits now, pi over 2 and 0. So it's going to give me a half. Now when I put pi over 2 into sine x, I get 1. 1 to the power of 4 is simply 1. And 0 goes in to give me 0. So I'm going to end up with a half as my final answer. Now that's one way of doing it. Here's another way. I'm using the same substitution. But before I go and look at this, and I end up at this bit here, using the same substitution, I'm actually going to use the limits. So if u equals sine x, one of the limits is x equals pi over 2, and if I put that into there, u will be 1. The other limit is when x equals 2, and if I put, sorry, 0, when I put 0 into there, I get 0 out. So what I've done is and that, I've actually worked out the new limits, but they're u limits. So when I come to do this bit here that I've circled, it becomes 2 brackets 1, 0, u cubed du. So I've still got the same process with the substitution, but it's the limits that have changed. And this actually makes it a little bit easier when I come to do the integral. So I've got that as the integral. So it becomes a half u to the power of 4, 1 and 0, so I can put 1 in and then take away 0 and it gets me the same value at the end of a half, but I don't have to put the substitution back in at the end. It doesn't make any difference which way you do it, I prefer this way because the calculations always seem to be a bit easier at the end.